Hello guys, welcome to my first video session of Business Intelligence. In this session, we will see what is Business Intelligence and the architecture of Business Intelligence. So firstly, we will see the definition of Business Intelligence. Business Intelligence can be defined as or it is a set of mathematical models and analysis methodologies that exploit the available data to generate information and knowledge useful for complex decision making process that is it is a broad category of applications and technologies for gathering storing analyzing and providing access to data to help clients make better decisions or in other words we can say that it is a system that collects integrates analyzes and presents business information to support better business decision making so bi is all about collecting data arranging data storing data and presenting that data in a proper business format for decision making for making better decisions we need right information right time and right format at which the data can be at strategic level tactical level or operational level so that it can take you to a better company here we will take an example of reducing the staff in the company if i want to reduce the staff in my company so to reduce the staff it needs the right information of that staff how many staff i have what type of staff i have in my company what is my business doing with the staff how much do i earn from that staff what is my growth what is my operational expenses do i need to reduce the staff or not so if you can provide your right information at the right time in the right format which is matching to the business data so you can take the right decisions on that data so here what all is required is your right information your right time your right format and for that your data should be at a strategic level tactical level or operational level so that you can take a better decisions at better time and in better format for making your company better run now before going to architecture we will see what is data information and knowledge data as everyone knows data is a collection of raw facts such as numbers words memory representations etc etc so here data can be defined as it is a set of representation of plain facts data are the facts of the world data represent a structure codification of single primary entities as well as of transactions involving two or more primary entities next is information it is the outcome of extraction and processing activities carried out on data and it appears meaningful for those who receive it in a specific domain knowledge information is transformed into knowledge when it is used to make decisions and develop the corresponding actions the activity of providing support to knowledge workers through the integration of decision making process and enabling information technologies is usually referred to as knowledge management so here data can be transformed into information and information lastly can be transformed into a knowledge to make better decisions for a better company or it can be said as you can take a right information in a right time in a right format to make a better decisions now we will see architecture of business intelligence this diagram is divided into three tiers where first tier consists of operational systems and external data external data can be from the sources of internet books etc etc second tier consists of data warehouse and third tier consists of logistic marketing performance evaluation here we have etl tools that is data can be extracted transform and load it into different sources so we will have look on them one by one business intelligence architecture consists of 
major three components. First is data sources, second is data warehouses and data mart, and third is BI methodologies. So we'll see one by one each of them. Data sources. In a first stage, it is necessary to gather and integrate the data stored in the various primary and secondary sources which are heterogeneous in origin and type. The sources consist of for the most part of data belonging to operational system but may also include unstructured documents such as emails and data received from external providers. Or we can say that in data sources, all those data requirement and gathering and all kind of integrations from multiple heterogeneous primary secondary sources, all those structured, unstructured, multi-structured, semi-structured data are categorized into this. Moreover, in data, we have operational system data so that looks like data from the industry or data from the enterprise which is like past history data are categorized into this so here all the data which is in the history or which is stored for a large entire two we have data warehouses and data mines now using extraction and transformation tools known as extract transform load that is etl the data originating from the different sources are stored in databases intended to support business intelligence analysis. These databases are usually referred to as data warehouses and data marts. Data warehouse is a large database where huge amount of data can be stored in a single database. Data mart are small type of sections where data can be stored to form a database. For example, we can say that in different malls, we have different sections of food, groceries, clothes, etc. So each and every section constitute of a single data mart to form a huge data warehouse. So people can find out the stuff easily without the help of employee. So in this data is well managed and well arranged in a particular kind of repositories. So we use ETL tools ETL is extraction, transaction or transformation and loading. So here the data is extracted from different sources. Some transactions are performed on that and loaded to the particular report. In third tier, we have business intelligence methodologies. In this, data are finally extracted and used to feed mathematical models and analysis methodologies intended to support decision makers. In a business intelligence system, several decision support applications may be implemented, most of which will be described in the following chapters. That, is, that can be multidimensional cube analysis, exploratory data analysis, time series analysis, optimization models, inductive learning models for data mining. In this data extraction and supplementation to mathematical models. And now this diagram shows the primary or main component of BI system. It works from the bottom upwards. Where we have data sources such as operational data, documents such as emails and external data. Secondly, we have data warehouse or data marts, which consist of multidimensional cube analysis. Third, we have data exploration in which statistical analysis and visualization is done. Fourth, we have data mining where all type of data models for learning or data are mined. Fifthly, we have optimization model that is used for choosing the best alternative from one of the other. Last, we have decisions for making better decisions. So we'll see one by data exploration. It is an informative search which is used by data consumers to form real and true analysis from the information collected. It is about describing the data by means of statistical and visualization techniques. Here, visualization techniques are used to visualize data 
in statistical manner. We explore data in order to bring important aspects of the data into focus for further analysis. Often, data is gathered in non-rigid or controlled manner in a large work. Here, information is collected so that data can be provided easily to the users. Then is data mining. Data mining technique has to be chosen based on the type of business and the type of problem your business faces. A generalized approach has to be used to improve the accuracy and cost effectiveness of using data mining techniques. Optimization. By moving one out, up one level in the pyramid, we find optimization models that allow us to determine the best solution out of a set of alternative actions which is usually fairly extensive and sometimes even infinite. At top, we have decisions. Here, the pyramid corresponds to the choice and the actual adoption of a specific decision and in some way represents the actual conclusion of the decision-making process. Even when business intelligent methodologies are available and successfully adopted, the choice of decision pertains to the decision-makers. So here, all the decisions are taken by the decision-makers to take advantage of informal and unstructured information available to adapt and modify the recommendations of the mathematical models. So here our session comes to an end. I will be soon back with more videos of business intelligence with different topics. Thank you for listening.